And welcome back to Erie's News Now at 1230. Emily from the Humane Society joining us again with Dixie. We yeah. can't see her right now, but we'll make sure that you guys can. Yeah, sure. She is uh, the featured pet on Finding Forever Families. Tell yeah. us a little bit about Dixie. She's so sweet. She is. So really calm right now. Dixie is a five-year-old shepherd mix. Um, she did come to us last year, I believe, on a transport from Alabama. Okay. We do rescue transports from overcrowded shelters down there. Um, Dixie was adopted into a family and unfortunately after um, probably about six months or so she was returned. Okay. So she's very calm and she's very sweet but she does have very oh. bad anxiety. So Dixie really needs a home where somebody is going to be around more often um, and she's also on medication okay. to help manage her anxiety Come on, and with that she yeah. she does much better. And you had mentioned Dixie's kind of a ride-along girl. She so is, yeah. A family that's going to take her places, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Or, you know, somebody who works from home mm -hmm. or somebody who's retired. She just keeps wanting to explore around right now. But, <laughs> and that's okay. you know, she has a great temperament, though. Yeah. She lived with a cat previously. She is, we would say dog selective. She loves to go out and play in a play group with dogs, but okay. it might just take a special yeah. dog um, for her to want to live with. You know, I have to say, she's such a good size, she is. too. She's not a huge dog. Nope. Come here. And, you know, with her size and her temperament, mm -hmm. she would be great in a home with kids, too. Yeah. We would probably say, because she's startled by sudden movements <laughs> and loud noises, that a home that has older kids who can respect her space and understand that she is still scared of things. Okay. And quickly, before we leave, we yeah. do want to mention the Mutt Gala. Yes. Tickets are on sale now. This one's happening at the end of next month. End of April. This is for our outpatient medical fund. Um, in 2021, we spent nearly $90,000 on wow. outpatient medical services as part of our no-kill mission. So we are very excited for this event, and we hope to raise a lot of money to continue saving more and more animal lives. Yeah, you guys have great fundraisers. The Muck Gala is going to be one of them. You can contact the Humane Society with any questions, or if you'd like to adopt Dixie or a Southern Belle, uh, contact the Humane Society. We'll be right back.